Various themer layouts comprise your site's header, footer, post archive, like this page, and more. To see where these are kept, let's go ahead and get to the dashboard. It's under Beaver Builder Themer Layouts. And here we can see all the different layouts that are running your site. It's possible to clone these headers and footers or any of these layouts, but for headers and footers especially, it's interesting because you can copy them and then you can assign them to other pages of the site. You might do this if you have a departmental uh, sub area of your website that needs a different header or a different footer. So you can also assign a different header uh, to the home page, whatever you want. So once you assign it to a location, that's where it resides. You can get very specific. Here we see general locations, but you can get down to a specific page or even a specific post. I'm going to open up and edit a header so you can look at it, but just one note. Headers can be the most complicated areas of a website. They have navigation, logos, slogans, who knows, other things as well, and they all have to work together on mobile. So I don't actually advise that you add or subtract anything from a header, just modify what's already in there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. If you do want to go ahead and make substantial changes to your header, I advise that you duplicate the themer layout first so you have a backup. All right, let's take a look and see how a header is configured. This isn't the layout, this is the configuration, how it behaves on the site. So here we see the header has a name, header, very imaginative. And then we see that it is not sticky, and little tooltips here tell you what these terms mean. And then we also see that it is to be applied to the entire site without exceptions or exclusions. And this goes back to what I was telling you about earlier about locations and how specific they can be. And just to show you how specific you can get, let's just look at some of these options here. I can go post of a certain category or a certain page. Let's go look at a certain page. How specific can we get? Yep, only show this header on a specific page. So you can really be particular about how you want different headers to appear on the website. And you can have lots and lots of headers. All right, I'm gonna go back to Themer Layouts, back to the header. And we're gonna go ahead and edit this header with Beaver Builder just so we can see what goes on in there. I always like to open a link in a new tab. I just like having both tabs open. And here I can now edit my header. I see selection boxes when I float my mouse around. Um, I can see all kinds of things. And there's my, it says what I'm currently editing. And the preview mode, uh, it tries to show you whatever page you want underneath your header so you can see how it blends. It doesn't really always work. Like there I selected home and I still don't see a home page preview. So don't worry too much about it. We're just really focused on the header. And everything you can do here in the header applies to the footer as well. Uh, these layouts all behave or are all operated on the same way. Here's your, your menu. And you can get into your menu settings and you can start changing your menu style and how it behaves. I'm not going to do that. And over here are some icon groups. An icon group is a module from Beaver Builder. And there's the icons and you can edit all those and their destinations and where they go. So as you can see, it's very much like editing a page. It's just the same idea, uh, this time just in the header.